Welcome to Police 10-8 Talk. I'm Joel. We're still down at the Big 3 East event. We're here at the DSA booth with Mark. I'm going to step out real quick and let him go through the product line. Take it away, man. Hi. Uh, what we want to show is our, as a lot of people know, our FAL has been our bread and butter for a lot of years. We make traditional standard configurations. But right now I want to talk about what we have done to modernize the FAL. And with that, this is a great example here because it has, from front to back, a lot of modern changes. Not only do we have the shortened gas system we've been doing for several years, but we have our new M-Lock handguard, uh, which is going to reduce the weight, add modularity to your FAL, your traditional gun. Now is going to be more in line with what people want when they change their grip to hand stops, vertical grips, bipod mounts, lasers, lights, uh, all that kind of stuff can be done at different angles now with the M-Lock on the uh, 3, 6, and 9, nine o'clock positions and Picatinny on top for a real hard surface for like a, uh, a D-ball or a mall or something like that. So moving back, we have our charging handle, not charging handle knob, which doesn't sound like much, but it actually adds a lot of aerodynamics to the gun. It is uh, tailored um, off of how, mod how people charge their rifles more today than they did in the 50s, and that's why it has a different contour. It's incredibly comfortable. I highly recommend yes, it this. Is comfortable. I shot it yesterday. The uh, moving farther back from that, we have our scope mount, which we've been manufacturing for years, known to be without a doubt the best scope mount ever made for the FAL rifle. But that has been a product of ours for quite a while. We have our ambidextrous mag release, which um, makes it very easy to to hit from either side, as it should be. Enlarged trigger guard, um, shooting gloves, sometimes were, uh, would rub on the standard trigger guard. But this is only slightly bigger, it's not crazy or anything like that. And then we move back to the saw grip. And then we go to our newest product, which is our modern stock. It's our battle rifle stock, we call it. And it is a side folder with the button on the bottom. You have levers on both sides to adjust your weight and pull. It has an internal buffering system to reduce recoil and uh, allow the stock to take really hard hits on the uh, in drop testing. And we have a cheek piece that is adjustable without the use of any levers, wheels, or any device. It also will go at an angle as well as flat up and down. Um, that's our modernized FAL as a whole here. A lot of these parts can be added to any FAL in some form or another, maybe by changing to a pair operation or maybe not. We talk about the mag release lever and the trigger guard and the hand guards, those are drop-in parts. The newest one that is so drop-in that you even keep your own, your old uh, hand guard retaining rail. On our older uh, Picatinny quad rail design, you would remove that and it would just press on the barrel. Now with the newest one, you can go back and forth to the hand guards if there was something you wanted to do. So that's that's the FAL line. I think it's a, uh, uh, something people should look at because it has the uh, durability and the reliability that people seek. But now with all the modularity that you want, there's a lot of firearms. And uh, deep, you can uh, find information about our products or uh, uh, and how to order them on our website at uh, dsarms.com. Be sure to give us a like or subscribe. And we'll be back with you. Thanks. Yeah, that's nice.